Something that's been eating away at me about zombies the past few years is the loss of Double Tap. Have you seen this perk recently? What happened to this perk? Why was it all of a sudden just gone and have no return? A mystery I want to talk about, the disappearance of Double Tap. What happened to Double Tap? As long as pack tiers exist, or weapon rarities are brought back, I don't see Double Tap ever showing up again. Rarity system. The rarity system was introduced in Black Ops Cold War Zombies where you go out to the armor stand and you have four different rarities. You have green being common, blue being rare, purple being epic, and orange being legendary. Orange is the best tier and green is the lowest tier. In Black Ops Cold War, there was many different ways on how to get these rarities. Let's start off with, in my opinion, the biggest negative, the box. In the box, you could have a gallo on your hand, for example, and it's a green, and then you spin the box again, you get a blue. Once you pick it up, boom! You've saved yourself some salvage and you've gone a better rarity. But this is where the other problem comes in. You've got different attachments. Now, of course, when you go up to the armor stand, which is something I completely forgot, if you want a different style of play for every weapon instead of just, you know, spinning the box to give you random attachments, you could spend salvage to just randomize your attachments on any of the guns that you're holding, which I didn't really see the point of that. Me, personally, I would like the attachments I want every game, which is how Black Ops 6 is fixing it, where it's not going to give you random attachments. Sure, I could have a gal in my hand still, but I could get a purple gal, for example, from the box in Black Ops 6. I could pick that up and I could still have the same attachments. No more random attachments. Thank you, Treyarch. The rarity system, you know, it's basically double the damage and so is Pack Punch within Black Ops Core Zombies. So basically, you have two ways of doubling your damage within that game. That's basically how it works. And then in Vanguard Zombies, which honestly, if we're not counting in Black Ops 6 here, I definitely think Vanguard had the best rarity system out of all the three games. But it does have its issues. Of course, the random attachments in the box, that still sucks. And of course, it's too OP. The rarity system in Vanguard Zombies is mixed in with pack punch. Now every time you pack punch your weapon in tier 1 in Vanguard Zombies, it would also give you a blue rarity on top of that. When you pack punch into tier 2, it would give you a purple rarity. And then when you pack punch into tier 3, it would be an orange rarity. Honestly, combining those two within pack punch, I thought that idea was cool. But if you got a blue rarity from the box, it would be pack punch. That's basically getting directed cut within Infinite Warfare Zombies without doing any of the Easter eggs that you need to do in order to unlock directed cut. I just thought it was too OP. Now granted, maybe it would work in something like Doran Fong and Terminal Dicta because it's objective based friends but of course you then have the round based version of those maps being the void objective so I really don't see the point in it to be honest but still I just think it's too OP and then of course going on to Modern Warfare Zombies ah, whether to say it's better than Black Ops Cold War Zombies or not I'm not so sure if anything I think it's equal. Now within Modern Warfare Zombies of course there are many different ways to you know get rarities you know you can get them from uh, little loot crates around the map or mostly you get them from doing objectives now me personally the RNG isn't awful, but I definitely think
think it sucks if you're trying to get the orange ether rarity tool because honestly i've never got it i've only got it from schematics i've never got it from just playing normal base modern warfare zombies which i think is garbage now i've done so many tier three objectives honestly you can look back at so many streams i've done within my twitch or on youtube that i've done on modern warfare zombies and i have not once ever have i gotten an orange rarity ether tool besides the schematic the most i've gotten is purple which you know it's still good but for a game like modern warfare zombies i'm pretty sure the highest rarity ether tool is required without you dying in like the tier three zone by like a megaton or something why, why did i say megaton i meant to say mega abomination god damn it clarky but of course along with that you do have the schematics you know you have your green your blue your purple and your orange and you know that's all cool and stuff but it, it kind of sucks why because you know you're not going to use the green you're not going to use the blue when you have purple or orange you know like why would you use that now the only reason why i'd see you guys using that is if you know the cooldown like if you're playing modern warfare zombies 24 7 you know i can see you using that it's something i would probably do but it's the whole point of the fact that the schematics have a cooldown now i don't know the exact cooldown measurements so you can you know correct me on that on top of that the box i've never spun the box on modern warfare zombies once not once so i'm not sure if it gives you random attachments or not Counterpoint to point me if i'm wrong on that but if it does it still sucks on top of that the good thing about it that done better than vanguard is that it's not giving me a pack punch weapon on top of that because you know rarities and pack punch aren't combined like it is in vanguard zombies which you know i preferably would prefer but of course they made it so you're not getting pack punch weapons out of the box and then of course within black ops 6 how they're making it is so of course you only gain one bit of salvage you know you're not getting two different rarities of salvage within black ops core zombies there was two different variants of salvage being the green salvage and the blue salvage which thankfully in black ops 6 we're only getting the green salvage so only one salvage which is good thank you Treyarch. within core zombies you had to spend 500 green salvage just to get to the green rarity a thousand green salvage to get to the blue rarity and then after that you had to get 500 blue salvage just to get to purple rarity and then a thousand blue salvage just to get to the max rarity which from the games that i've experienced within core zombies you don't get a lot of blue salvage drops from zombies which in my opinion sucks now granted within core zombies past round 15 i'm pretty sure it's every five rounds that you survive you do get bonus salvage to put onto your inventory which you know is cool and they're probably going to do the same with black ops 6 which i think is okay but still just within core zombies i didn't like that person i just felt like it was a bit too long in my opinion and then of course in vanguard I felt like you acquired it way too easily and then in Modern Warfare Zombies it was kind of left up to RNG unless you had schematics and then after you use that schematics you have to wait a long time so it kind of sucks but then Black Ops 6 of course you go to the arsenal and I'm pretty sure it's a thousand green salvage to get your green rarity two thousand green salvage to get your blue rarity and then I think it's like three thousand four thousand something I don't know to get your proper rarity and then it's like a big jump to get to your orange rarity being seven thousand five hundred green salvage now of course I definitely think this is better than all the games it's not to P, and of course you're only getting one variation of salvage which is cool on top of that you're not getting random attachments on the box anymore again you can have a milano that's green and then when you spin the box you can get a milano that's purple those attachments that you had put in in your weapon kit system before you loaded into the match you will still have those same attachments so you're not getting random attachments on the box when you're getting an upgraded rarity from the box so again great feature there but is it too long i don't know i don't know but i'll get to my idea in a second oh no i definitely think black ops Six is better and probably the more better system it's not too p it's not too long it's not rng based it's it's okay do i think it's perfect no but i definitely think it's a good step in the right direction for the rarity system what is the rarity system first of all the rarity system is simply just doubling your damage as far as i'm aware like that was the main purpose i got from it because the random attachments fuck that shit i hated that garbage but you know it did double your damage which was the main purpose of it but how you doubled your damage in previous games was simple now of course double tap 1.0 all you simply done was just shoot double the bullets that's it so you'd run out of ammo quicker it didn't do double damage at all the only way you could double your damage within world of war zombies in the games that had double tap 1.0 was solely through pack a punch to be honest but then of course within black ops 2 you had double tap 2.0 which you know doubled the damage and of course doubled your shots as well so it was good on top of that you're getting double the damage from pack a punch it wasn't super long it was just simply get your perk get pack a punch and then boom your max damage simple as that and of course the same applied with black ops 3 but within black ops 3 you could pack a punch more than once there was ways to more double your damage but then of course when we get to black ops 4 it really did change without black ops 4 double tap was non-existent how you doubled your damage to the max damage within black ops 4 is if you pack punched your weapon four times now for me personally for someone that doesn't always really use aets in my opinion like i never use aets i'm more of an easter egg guy the only time i use aets is if i'm doing high rounds but that's really the only time i'd really use it you now within black ops 4 if you're like me 
you know, it gave you more reason to get 880s because, you know, you need to repack four times to get max damage. But that doesn't mean it was good. No, it, it didn't. Honest to God, I don't think it was the worst feature, but was it needed? God, no. I definitely don't think it was. 100% no. If people want, you know, ways of war grinding to progress within the game instead of just getting a perk and then pack punch and then boom, you're set up. And you like the system where, you know, you're building up, you're playing more towards the game where you're doubling your damage as time's going on, giving you more reason to play the game more so you're fully set up, if you get what I mean, then I can see why people like the rarity system. I definitely do. I would like it where it wasn't so long like Black Ops Core Zombies, at least from my experience, and not heavy RNG based like Modern Warfare Zombies, and not so OP like Vanguard Zombies. And I think Black Ops 6 somewhat has a good balance for that, but I I just don't think it's super perfect. But should the rarity system go? I don't know, to be honest. If they bring back Double Tap 2.0, or potentially a 3.0, I think the rarity system should go. There's really no reason towards it, or if they want to keep both, go ahead. But I definitely think that would make the game way too easier. But, of course, if they don't bring back Double Tap 2.0, or potential 3.0, then I think the rarity system should stay. Or do what they did with Vanguard, just make it so we don't get pack punch tears from the box also. Now, of course, I did tweet this out, and I wanted to get your guys' thoughts on this, and this is what some of you guys said. We got one for Generation Rye, and he says, I couldn't really care less. I think it fits. I like the old system best, but I really don't mind it at all. Doesn't really change the gameplay for me. Just another thing to grind during a match. Again, like I said, you know, if you like the grind factor and like to play more, you know, the way they're doing it now where you have two factors of doubling your damage, you know, you know, it's not it's not bad, you know, you, it gives you more reason to play more, to set up more. It's not a bad thing, you know, a lot of Zombies players like to start off, you know, with hardly anything and like to make their way, like, build it up towards, like, a super soldier and stuff. And then after that, we got Zone X and he says, I think the idea is good, but the implementation is bad. Salvage dropping at the feet of Zombies held just feels so bad to me. Imagine points fell at the feet of zombies. It would feel so terrible. Salvage is a big quality of life change in my opinion. And I definitely do think salvage is changing over the course of time. Like Black Ops 6 is probably the best version of salvage that we've ever gone. Especially how we only got one variant of it, which I definitely think is a good big change. But of course, dropping at the feet of zombies, it isn't really that good. You know, it would be nice, you know, if we could just kill zombies, get points, and then just get salvage instead of having to run to the zombies dead bodies just to pick up the salvage that they drop. I definitely do agree with that. And after that we got one from Redact Official and he says, I personally love the rarity system. It adds another layer towards upgrading your weapons. Does it take away from PAP? A little, but not too much in my opinion. Now, you know, the whole thing with it taking away from pack punch, I definitely do agree, but Vanguard kind of fixed that, having the rarity system with pack punch but aside from that you know it takes away from a little but not too much because me personally i'm not focusing on rarity system i'm focusing on pack punch first but i'm saying that because one in vanguard it's together for cold war i already have the super easter egg reward which if you do all the easter eggs within cold war zombies you start off with a purple rarity so you know i'm not going to grind just one game of cold war zombies starting with the purple rarity system just going oh i want the orange rarity when it could take really ages to get that in my opinion then we got one from revive gamer and he says i don't absolutely despise it. It definitely was added to help Warzone and slash MP players understand zombie systems easier, but I do think it kind of makes the gun tiers in the box on the early runs super low, which sucks, because that's when I primarily hit the box. And I definitely understand that what he's saying. If we're talking about the box here, you know, with Black Ops 6, they they've kind of give you more purpose to spin the box. You're not getting random attachments, which is good, but of course, when you're spinning the box, when you want a high rarity, like really on a lower round, so you don't need to spend that much salvage and you can spend salvage on something else entirely, I think that would be a good idea. You know, make so you could get an orange rarity or a purple rarity on a lower round, just a bit higher chances, you know? Like, uh, unless, like, you know, they don't want to do that. Like, I get it. It would make you feel super OP than you already are in round one. I just think it would be just, just a tiny bit better. Just a tiny bit. Then we go on from Insane Gaming. He says, honestly, I prefer the rarity system over Double Tap 2.0. It gives you more opportunities to increase your damage over time. Which, again, like I said earlier, you know, if you like to play more, get more chances to increase your weapon damage over time instead of just simply getting Double Tap and Pack Punch and that's it. The rarity system's for you, I guess. There we go one from Ikea Kitsune, and she says, it's dot dot fine. All right. And then we got one from Tragic and he says, it's cool. All right. <laughs> then we got one from Michael and he says, it's good. But the direct way of game rarities, I feel have a much bigger negative effect on wall guns in mystery box far more than the loadout system, especially considering getting your rarities up isn't difficult by any means. But you know, I definitely understand what Michael's trying to say here. You know, it's definitely a good thing here. You know, I never even thought about wall weapons there. You know, he's got a good point about the mystery box, but wall weapons too. He has a good point. Then we got one from Thede Deceivier and he says, I think 
think it was fine to try for Cold War, but I want my Double Tap 2.0 back. Rarity doesn't add value to the gameplay loop. It makes hitting the box make much less sense. Well, then with your desired weapon, I'm upgrading its rarity is how the majority of the people play. Which is right about that. Of course, you know, with Black Ops 6, that's somewhat fixing it, but not really. So, I'm going to have to agree for him on that. Now, we got one from Mr. L, and he says, it's a good system. We got one from 1BSM17, and he says, don't hate, would be better without it. <laughs> that was a sneeze. And again, that's what you guys said. But I definitely think out of all the games before Black Ops 6, I definitely think Vanguard done it the best. Is it perfect by any means? No. I just think it's a bit too OP. And of course, the random attachments take that purpose away as well, because I think that's really, really annoying in my opinion. But again, Black Ops 6 is fixing a lot of these issues. You're not getting random attachments anymore. You know, you're only getting one variant of salvage. And of course, you know, it's going to be much easier to get. I definitely think Black Ops 6 might be the better system. Not just the better system, but I think it'll be the best system for salvage. But does that mean it's perfect? No, it definitely isn't. I just think out of all the four games, Black Ops 6 might be the best system for rarities, in my opinion. But this is how I would do it. Let's take some stuff from Black Ops 6 and Vanguard Zombies, for example. In Vanguard Zombies, of course, if you get a blue rarity from the box, it's going to be Pack Bunch Tier 1. I think that's too OP. And of course, within Black Ops 6, if you do spin the box and you get a weapon with a random rarity, you're not getting a Pack Punch Tier, because that's not how it works in Black Ops 6. Rarities and Pack Punch isn't combined like Vanguard Zombies. But do I think it should be? Yes. But the box shouldn't be included with that. If you got, you know, a blue rarity from the box, it should just be a simple blue rarity. And of course, no random attachments. Black Ops 6 has already fixed that issue already. You're not getting random attachments. You're getting the desired attachments that you wanted on that specific weapon. Let's say you got the blue rarity. You get the blue rarity from the box. Cool. Your damage is doubled. But if you go to pack a punch, you pack a punch it. Boom. It's a blue rarity. But then if you pack a punch again to tier 2, not only will you go to tier 2 pack a punch, but you will also get a purple rarity along with it. Putting pack a punch and the rarity system together as one, I definitely think is a way better idea than what we've gone in previous iterations. I like how they've done that in Vanguard Zombies, and I know that's taken some inspiration from Black Ops 4, but of course, it's better in my opinion. You know, you're not pack punching four times, you're pack punching only three. But if you go on orange rarity from the box, my idea would be is that you just get simple orange rarity, but it's not pack punch. Pack punch it to tier three, then boom, there you go. It's tier three pack. You've got your orange rarity with it, but of course, you're gonna have to pack punch to tier one first. You know, it'll still be your orange rarity. It's not gonna go all the way back down to blue, no, it'll stay to your orange rarity. And then of course, it's just pack to tier one, put to tier two, still orange, and then put to tier three orange. You would already get the orange rarity with tier three pack anyway, so I definitely think that would be a good idea. In conclusion, do I think the rarity system is a good thing? Honestly, I don't mind it. I just think it needs to have a good balance. And I definitely think within Vanguard and Black Ops 6, you know, they were trying to get to work better. I just think Vanguard was just way too OP. Black Ops 6 has got a bit more of a balance, just not totally perfect. Modern Warfare Zombies is too RNG in Cold War. I just felt like it was too long. Best guys, I'm getting the video here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please subscribe, leave a like, click the notification bell, also to the channel. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you all within the next video live stream. And goodbye.